What's up guys? Welcome to part two of this Tesla clone. So in part one, we created our React app, we added Tailwind, and we got the custom font added. And this is what it looks like so far. Nothing exciting, so now we get to do some coding, make it look awesome. So let's just jump right into it. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to app.js. And what we're gonna do is delete this out of here and we wanna add a background image. So we're gonna go background and we are gonna do a URL, put that in there. And we're gonna come here to the Tesla website and when you make this small, you'll notice that it uses a separate image here. So if you shrink that down, we right click on here, we can say copy image address and we wanna put that right here into the URL. Perfect. And then as you get bigger, we use a larger image. So what we want to do is, you know, Tailwind is mobile first. So we're using the small image. And then what we want to do is when we hit a large desktop size, we want to add the larger image. So we're going to do the same thing. We're going to say background and we're going to put in the URL here. And let's go ahead and copy that URL. Copy image address and we'll paste that in there. And we'll add a couple more utility classes to this. We'll next add each screen so it takes up the full height of the screen. Let me come over here so we can look at what we're doing. You can see we're we're getting somewhere. All right. So we'll keep going. We got each screen. We're going to do BG cover. There we go. And then what we want to do is hit BG center. So we want to cover it, center it, make it full screen. And look at that. We already got a nice image. You can see here when we shrink it down, it hits that small breakpoint. Large, small, large, small, responsive, beautiful. All right, man. Look how easy Tailwind makes that. It's pretty cool. So then we can go ahead and we have this Tesla clone here. We can get rid of this and we're going to go to a components and we're going to create our nav bar component. So let's go ahead and do that. So we're going to create a new file in here and we'll call this navbar.js. And then what we're going to do is we're going to use that react snippet. So we can say R A F C E and then we'll just hit enter and boom. We already have this nav bar component. It has a div. So we'll be able to see it here as soon as we go into app.js and inside this div, what we want to do is we want to call the nav bar so we can put it in, hit tab. It's going to auto import for us and then we'll just close it off. And what you'll see, we have the nav bar text here. So this is a good start. Hit control A, we can say format, it's already good. Okay, so let's go ahead. We can close app for now. We can close index. Let's work a little bit on this nav bar. So let's just kind of think about what we need. So if we go to the Tesla website, you can see we have a logo here. We have some text and we have some text down here. So we have like these three sections. So we'll just kind of do that in here in our nav bar. So we have our div that will be our container. We're gonna grab another div and this is going to contain our image so we'll end up putting our image there we'll go ahead under here let's create another div and then this is going to be a an ordered list and we can go some list items in here so we're gonna have one two three four five six so we'll copy that. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then under here, we're gonna have one more div. And we are going to have the same thing, an unordered list. And then just three items here. So let's go ahead and start filling some of this in. So this will be model S, this will be model three, 
Let's just copy this. Model 3. Model X and Y. So we got that sexy going on. And then we have solar. Do they do capital? Yep, capital. Solar roof and our solar panels. Down here, we're going to have shop, account, and our menu. So now we'll just control A that. We're going to go format, make that look a little nicer. Cool. Let's look at what we got. Let's add our Tesla logo. So we'll come in here to image. We'll say SRC equals. And let's also give it some alt text. And that is going to be Tesla logo. And then we'll come here to, you can see where it says Tesla logo. And let's go ahead and add that logo. So we'll come to the Tesla website and we'll use that CSS peeper. Let's click assets, scroll down. We'll right click and we'll say copy image address. Let's go ahead and put that in there. Perfect, very long. <laughs> Let's close this and look at it. So we go to our React app. Boom! We have a Tesla logo. And it is huge. So we'll come in here in the image and we'll say cla class name equals, and let's do like a height of three. Boom. That's better. All right. So let's start with that. And we'll go Command A. Let's highlight everything. We'll format that line so it looks a little bit cleaner and now let's go ahead and look at the website you can see that when you hover over these that there is a highlight so on hover there's a highlight so we want to add that so let's go ahead and do that so we'll jump back to the react app we'll look at our li can i move this over so you can see a little more and we're going to target all the LI so we don't have to do it one by one. And so we can hold down the option key and then we'll just click, click, click. Get all these clicked. All right. And then we'll say class name equals and we will start adding all our different utility classes. So we're going to say PY and we will say dash one. All right, and then you can see that we got that spacing here. So Y is top and bottom. And so watch this while we type in this next one. We can say PX-3. You can see we got the spacing on the sides. X is left and right. What we want to do too is we want on the hover, we want rounded, rounded. And then also on hover, we want a background of black. And then what we're gonna do is black will be too strong. So we wanna add some opacity to it. So we'll say slash five. All right, cool. So let's see what that did. So if we come over here, you can see now that we have that nice highlight in the background on the hover. Um, yeah. That looks good it's hard to tell that it's rounded but you'll see it in a minute once we keep uh, adding some more utility classes so let's go ahead now and target the ul's and we'll do the same thing we'll hold down the uh, option key and we'll click ul we are going to add a class name and then we're going to type in flex and watch that come up to a row cool and then we can say justify justify Oh man, just the, I screwed that up. Can't even find what I wanted. Just by center, boom, all right. Now we're we're centered here. And also when we hovered, there was a cursor. So what we wanna do is we wanna say hover and this will be a cursor, yeah, pointer. Beautiful. So now when we hover, you can see that we have this pointer we have the background. Now you can see the rounded edges a little bit. Starting to look good. So now let's target this top div and let's kind of get things lined up and, and work out a little bit more on some spacing. So we'll come up 
to our top div and we'll say class name equals and we'll go ahead and give it some utility classes so we're gonna go in here too and say flex and then watch what that does Boom, now we're on we're one row here and then what we're gonna say is justify center boom there it is sweet and then what we want to say is no, we don't want to do that. Justify center is not what we want to do. Do you see how the Tesla logo shifted over? We want to say justify uh, between there. That's what we wanted. So now you can see we have the Tesla logo on the left. We have the middle div here and then this divs on the right. So that's what we wanted. That's looking better. So then what we want to say is items. So, oh put a dash item center and watch the Tesla logo boom it goes down we got this one line now and now let's work on a little bit of padding so we'll hit the space bar and we'll say PX-12 and did you see how the logo shifted so we got PX left and right so on the left side and the right side so that brought it in a little bit and you can see here let's see if I hover you can see this is from the um, the extension that we installed. You can see that we have padding left and padding right of three rims. Cool. So we'll keep going. So then what we want to do is we want to do padding of four. So that's going to be all around. So that brings it down a little bit. And what else do we want to do? Let's do um, text and let's do small. So you can see that this shifted a little bit tech small is 14 pixels so that's looking good and then I think um, let's make it a little bit font bold that was hard to tell but it shifted you can see it a little bit so font bold so if we go to the Tesla website we're looking pretty darn close it's looking good on the hovers they have kind of this animation here um, but yeah we're looking we're looking good. Sweet. All right. So now let's take a look back at the Tesla website. And you'll notice when you like shrink down from mobile that things disappear here. And if we go to ours and I shrink it down, not so much looking not great. So let's go ahead and fix that. So we are going to go to div and uh, let's go ahead and target both of these so we'll hold down option and we're gonna click the divs and we're gonna say class name equals and what we want to do is on mobile we want it to be hidden and so you can see how everything just disappeared and then what we want to say is when it's large we want to put it in line all right so when we shrink it oh wrong one so here we go, when we shrink it down, boom, for mobile, that disappears. When it gets large, it shows up, so that's looking nice and responsive. Let's come back in here. So then when you go to the Tesla, you can see when we shrink down, we have this menu changes, and it just has this single menu. So we want to create that. So what we're gonna do is we're going to Come in here and create one more div. Beautiful. And then what we want to do is let's go ahead and create the, the button first. So we'll say button and we'll call it menu. And what we want to do here is we're going to do a class name. And what we'll say here is we'll say when it's extra large we want this to be hidden otherwise we want it to show up so we go to ours let's see there we go so now we have this menu oh we got some weird stuff going on so we'll fix that in a second because we don't want extra large we just want 
Let's try that. There we go. So that looks better. Perfect. So when we go into the mobile, let's go ahead and style this menu. So there's a few things that we need to add to this. So we'll go class name. And we will just start going. So we're going to say inline flex suite. And then we'll say items center. And we'll say rounded MD and we'll say PY dash two and we'll say PX PX dash four. Cool. You can see it kind of moving around. We can explain this all when we're done. Text. We want the text to be small to match the other ones. We want the font. This is the font weight to be medium. Sweet. We'll just keep it cranking. And then we'll say BG dash black slash five. Cool. So now you can see we have it rounded. We have the padding. You have this nice background here. We're almost done. There's a lot of a lot for this one. Um, and then the next thing we'll do is we'll give it like a box shadow. So we'll go shadow small. And then on hover, we want to say BG dash black. And then we'll say 10. All right, cool. So I think it's done. So if we go out, it's gone. When we come in, shows up. And then on hover, it gets a little bit darker. Oh baby, she is looking responsive and good. So that's what we're going to do. That's what we're going to set up for right now on the nav bar. And next we'll talk about kind of ha having the uh, hero section. So we'll end up putting the model three and adding a couple buttons. So we'll, we'll do that next time. Thanks guys. See you soon.